some streamers think they're untouchable until they meet someone who hits them with a dose of reality. From being jumped to getting knocked out to even getting shot. These are times streamers met real fighters. And what better way to start than with one of the most unbearable streamers right now, John Zerka. Recently, John Zerka has been tagged as the degenerate of YouTube. Some of his antics even include believing he has the N-word pass. Where does your N-word pass come from? Tell me about These it. These hands. Plus, Adam, you gotta remember, dude, no black man on earth finds the N-word offensive when <laughs> when words let me tell you something when words hurt you you're a woman the reason you can't say it is there's nothing black about you why i have the n-word pass is i stole it so you know i'm black this toxic behavior from zirka led him to being banned multiple times from twitch as well as involved him in multiple controversies but none of them really got physical until his feud with fitness content creator sticky talky the feud began in november 2023 when zirka started making some offensive comments about the mother of Sticky Talkie and Aiden Ross. This happened as a result of Zerka's friend, Heel Mike, being jumped by a group of kick streamers associated with Aiden Ross. Zerka continued to attack Sticky Talkie and Aiden, even claiming to have slept with Aiden Ross's ex, and eventually threatening to fight Sticky Talkie on the streets. Uh oh. Oh. This guy. This led to them having a physical confrontation, which didn't go quite as well as Zerka expected. Boys. Even though Zerka didn't sustain any injuries, his pride was definitely hurt by the thousands of people that made fun of him. Zerka is the literal definition of the loudest in the room is usually the weakest. Dude came all prepared with his gloves and gets beat up. Why is everyone saying HS1? Zerka clearly blocked all his punches with his face. But at least Zerka escaped unharmed. This next guy, however, was lucky to escape with his life. On April 2nd, 2023, a YouTuber by the name of Tanner Cook was at the Dulles Town Center Mall in Sterling, Virginia. Tanner was the owner of the channel Classified Goons, which specialized in prank content often ranging from annoying to harassment. And the latter is what he was up to when he approached a delivery driver by the name of Alan Coley. No. Thinking about my Get on my Facebook for a Stop. 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 You can obviously see the man was uncomfortable with the phone being shoved in his face and tried to walk away, but Tanner persisted and then this happened. Tanner was rushed to the hospital and survived the encounter. And while getting shot with a gun is dangerous, there's something almost as equally as dangerous as that. And that's getting beaten by a UFC fighter. Eris Sereni, also known as Opto, is a part of the YouTube prank channel called Top Notch Idiots. But just a few days ago, Eris had the bright idea of pranking a UFC fighter and he learned a valuable lesson. The UFC fighter in question is Raul Rosas Jr the youngest fighter currently in the UFC with a record of 10 and one. He started by bothering Rosas while he was on a treadmill, claiming the treadmill is his. Come on, boy. You guys know this guy? He's using my treadmill, homie. Give me your treadmill, bro. Huh? Give me 
I, I run here every day at this time, my boy. What's a thousand on the treadmill? Nah, I use this specific one, homie. You could ask the gym owner, my boy. He's using my shit right now. We're working out, bro. We're doing some homework. Can he move, my boy? Because I'm using this one, homie. I find it kind of disrespectful that you're using my treadmill. Are you being disrespectful, homie? I'm not being disrespectful. I'm telling you this is my treadmill, homie, and I want you to move. Hey, use that one over there. Just that one. Bro, huh? bro, you being mad disrespectful, bro. That one, bro. Just, hey, walk him through. Just that one. Oh, huh. you being mad disrespectful. My boy, I use this one. I want you to guys hey, move it, and we're right, not going to have an issue, my boy. Rosas eventually left the treadmill for Eris, but the pranking didn't stop there. Hey, hey, hey. Let, let me bro. Using them, bro. You're really testing our patience, dog. I just wanted to use this 35. It's not working. But I just wanted to use the 35. I get it, bro. I get it. It's not working, dog. Just don't even start. You good, bro. The final straw happened when Eris walked in on Rosas doing some bag work, which made the fighter lash out at him. Hey, bro, is this some type of joke or something? Like you think we're funny or something, bro? What do you mean? Yo, get out, bro. You've been following us this whole time. This, this is a terrible time, time, bro. Terrible I'm time. I'm here to for the boxing, homie. Yeah, bro. Yo, f hey, chill, bro. Bro, relax, my boy. What's the issue, homie? Bro, I'm here to use the get, bag, get my. Eris already recognized things were getting serious and tried to quit the prank, but was encouraged by his friend to keep pushing and ask for a spar session. That's it, fool. That's it. I can't. Bro, that's it, fool. I can't do more. That's it. I can't. Bro, if I spar with him, he's going to knock me out, fool. Okay, man. Tell him light sparring. Tell him light. What do you mean light sparring? Yeah, go walk in there. Be like, yeah, let's light spar. No, if I walk in there, if I walk in there, I'm going to probably be like, I'm gonna be aggressive. Just give me some time, fool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest. I've, I've been messing with that fool upstairs. Fool, that fool's getting f***ing heated, man. How many chances you get to? Hey, when will you ever have this opportunity ever again? Yeah, but like I don't know, bro. What if it like breaks my jaw? All right, f it. I'm gonna do this for you guys, okay? I wanted to stop the prank right there, but I'm gonna f***ing go in there and I'm gonna try to f***ing spar with him. Rubo, get my glove. Now. Who do you think would win? A chubby prank YouTuber or a UFC fighter with an almost perfect record? The answer might shock you. What's up, my boy? Come on, bro. Why are you running? Harris kept trying to say it's a video, but the UFC fighter didn't stop and kept trying to choke the YouTuber till his friend stepped in. It's a video, bro. It's a video. Hey, it's a video. Hey, It's always satisfying to seeing annoying people get humbled, and the same is the case for Benny Mac. The incident happened between Benny Mac and one Alonso. The two were at a bar drinking before getting into an argument and going outside. According to Alonso, Benny Mac gave him his drink and started to make an issue out of it. But Benny Mac refused to listen to reason and kept on his annoying antics, including putting his camera in Alonzo's face and yelling. This is real life. This is real life. Alonzo, I, I on kick. The argument continued for a few minutes until Benny Mac snatched his phone back from Alonzo and did this. Here you go. Here, here you go. Here you go. Double Hart Jackson says, reverse that. Good. Actually, a righteous man. Why'd you hit me, stupid? 
You should have touched me. But if you think Benny Mac was provoking, then think again. Because one of the most annoying and provoking streamers tried to troll not just any UFC fighter, but Nate Diaz. And the streamer is none other than Neon. It all began during a press conference for the Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal fight that was scheduled for the 6th of July 2024. Neon planned to ask an instigating question to rile up Nate Diaz. But yeah, bro, I'm really nervous, bro. Like, I'm really nervous. Um, really nervous, actually, because the question I'm going to be asking is not um, up to par, man. The question that I'm going to be asking, sorry, there's a lot of people around and shit. The question I'm going to be asking, chat, that I decided is um, when you get knocked out, are you going to retire? That's my question, chat. He started by asking a fairly normal question to warm Diaz up. Hello? <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you guys. Um, this question is for Nate first. I just wanted to ask you two things, man. Um, first question is... Um, who inspired you when you were, uh, you know, first up and coming when you were boxing? Who really made you want to become one of the greats? But then he asked this. Second question I have for you today, man, is um, when you do get knocked out, are you going to retire? And of course, Nate Diaz wasn't happy. Who said that? So I don't know who you are. Uh, or that if, little bitch boy, you fucking little pussy faggot. Fuck. If, 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 if you do, if you do. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to be watching. I just, is I'm excited to see both sides, but... It. I'm gonna kick you in your fucking leg, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, P.S. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I have a lot of respect for everyone, man. It's just I want to see a great fight. Fuck you. <laughs> Nate Diaz's reaction made Neon visibly nervous, and as he was leaving the premises, he was looking for Mosvidal as some sort of protection, but. He was right to be afraid because just a few seconds later, this happened. I'll call, I'll call Masvidal. Just get in the car. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Neon managed to escape, but judging by how he was screaming, it's safe to say he won't be pulling a stunt like that anytime soon. But at least all Neon did was provoke a UFC fighter. It's not as if he challenged him to spar or anything. No one would be stupid enough to do that, right? Well, no one except self-proclaimed alpha male, Sneeko. During one of his live streams on February 22, 2024, Sneeko challenged a UFC bantamweight champion to a sparring session, and it went about as well as you'd expect. Take a shot. Yeah. Usually it's like this, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same. Let's say you do punch, kick me, or yeah. Well, I'm not sick of Sean, you know. <laughs> Different story. <laughs> the fight ended when Marab had Sneeko in a chokehold, forcing him to tap out. <laughs> you wanna be, you wanna be fighting? You wanna be fighting? <laughs> <laughs> but Sneeko isn't the only delusional streamer out there. A bodybuilder by the name of Rambo Guns had the bright idea of challenging a jiu-jitsu black belt. In September of 2016, Rambo Guns barged into a jiu-jitsu gym and immediately went at black belt instructor Piet Willem. The fight was short and mainly consisted of the bodybuilder being slammed and slapped around just like Sneeko, but at the end of it, this happened. Who's the master? You are. Yeah, say it. Say it loud. 
Uh. Who's the man? Who's the man? No yeah. burpee? No burpee? Uh -uh. No burpee? Ugh. Why are you bleeding your own blood? But Rambo Guns isn't the only prankster to learn a valuable lesson. It all happened in a gym when two YouTube pranksters walked up to a bodybuilder challenging him to lift his max weight for the prize of $1,000. Basically, we're just going up to people and we're encouraging them to do the max. Yeah. If you can hit your max, we'll give you $1,000. Oh, yeah. And obviously, the bodybuilder agreed, but when the time came for the challenge to be attempted, this happened. It's on the line. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Up. Come on. Up. 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 Not only did they lie about the prize, they also left the bodybuilder in one of the most dangerous positions. And to no one's surprise, he didn't take it too well. And of course, people supported them learning a lesson. It's a prank is going to be someone's last words if they're not careful. He fell like a bag of potatoes. There's something so satisfying about watching a prankster get humbled. But if there's anyone that's not a stranger to being humbled, it's definitely Sneeko. And this next case is his most humbling experience yet. It all started when former UFC champion Sean Strickland was asked to do a podcast with Sneeko. But due to his hate of influencers, he refused, offering to spar with Sneeko instead. Right. Let's see the influencer. Let's see the influencer. Come on, bro. You're gonna be a fucking man. Let's see the, Let's see the influencer. Arthur. Arthur. Think about if you knock me out, how cool that would look for your. Uh, you could actually accomplish something by doing nothing. But as the timer was coming to an end, Strickland became serious and started going to town on Sneeko. Even though multiple towels were thrown in, Strickland didn't stop until UFC Hall of Famer Forrest Griffin stopped him. Good job. And even though Sneeko was badly beaten, the two seem to be on good terms now with Sean even giving Sneeko props. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I, don't, they, I mean, they're giving him backlash. They're saying that, like, he went too hard. I know that everybody knows. They must not know who this is. Maybe let me tell you something. I like Sneeko. Some things you've done are questionable, but you're better. Showed up. And you fucking smart, man. That's what I'm about. But as painful and embarrassing as that was, it's still not as embarrassing as what happened to Bradley Martin. Bradley Martin is a fitness influencer known for his impressive physique and strength, but recently he has become a meme due to one thing. Because I asked Devin Haney, yeah, Devin Haney thought the boxer, he thought he beat me in a street fight 150. Yeah, 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 but. Yeah, he probably fuck you up too, though. You but, think so? But, but, nah, you really but, think so? But, 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 no, like, you're way bigger than me, right? Like, yeah. you should say you weigh two sixty. Two sixty. And people think that like muscles like mean something. Muscles don't mean nothing. According to him, he believes that his massive size or weight should be enough to win against an actual fighter that weighs way lower than him, regardless of their training. But on the 20th of December, 2020, Bradley got a wake up call when he sparred with a smaller jujitsu black belt. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<clears throat> but at least it wasn't an official fight, so Bradley Martin got off easy. Bryce Hall didn't have that privilege though. During an exhibition boxing event called Battle of the Platforms, TikToker influencer Bryce Hall faced off against Dad of the Ace family and amateur boxer Austin McBroom. <laughs> At least Bryce didn't get treated like a little child, like this next guy. During a visit to Zoo Culture Gym, popular Twitch streamer Ronnie Stable Ronaldo and FaZe Clan's newest recruit, Nick Lacey, had a tense encounter with 260 pound bodybuilder Bradley Martin. In a playful moment, Ronaldo knocked Martin's cap off, but Bradley Martin was visibly irritated and demanded the return of his cap. That's just like funny. That's just funny. But Ronaldo refused to return the cap. And in response, Bradley Martin did this. Get my hat. Damn, actually. Oh, uh, oh, I didn't know that was bad. My bad, Brad. Like, actually. No, actually. Put the camera down. Wait. Damn. And it seems like everyone who watched that incident was on Bradley's side. What disciplining a child looks like. That smack was music to my ears. That wasn't a slap. That was a factory reset back to a decent human being. Even Ronaldo's companion thought it was justified. You know what they say, Ron? Fuck around and find out. And it seems like recently, annoying streamers are starting to face the consequences of their actions. And there's no better example of this than notorious offender of Asians, Johnny Somali. I stand with the Korean people. I love Korea. And everything that I did in Japan was for the Korean and the Chinese people. If you don't know why this is such a serious offense, the Statue of Peace is a symbol of remembrance and justice for the comfort women, girls, and women forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese military during World War II. So you can see why twerking on it led to him essentially being hunted by the locals. Somali sustained facial injuries, but that wasn't the end of his troubles. Because just a few days later, this happened. Huh? A local YouTuber has tracked down Somali and in the middle of the street assaults him with his fist. <laughs> Somali sustained facial bruising. The YouTuber who attacked the American was arrested on the spot by police officers. This happened in Seoul, where a YouTuber by the name of Yu Dalgoon tracked Somali and attacked him before being stopped by the police. Because of all this commotion, Johnny Somoli is banned from leaving Korea while being investigated and is potentially facing more than 10 years in prison.